Assalamu alaikum ladies, how are you? I hope that you are all doing fantastically well today. I am going to be sharing with you a DIY facial wash and like me I am sure that a lot of you will love this stuff. Not only is it incredibly gentle, although you should always do a patch test even if you're using household ingredients or even essential oils, things that you think are natural and won't harm you, we can get allergic reactions to anything. But that aside, not only is it incredibly gentle, but also I reckon you should be able to locate most of these ingredients in your kitchen cupboard, especially if you're Asian. But if not, if you don't have any of these, then just pop on down to your local supermarket. They should carry everything that I'm going to share with you today. Here it is. Aesthetically, I know it doesn't look very appealing at all, but you know, as with most DIY facial masks, the ugliest ones tend to have the best effect. So, the ingredients that you will need are as follows. You'll need one teaspoon of gram flour, aka besan. This is what will help to slough off those dead skin cells. The second ingredient is turmeric, aka haldi. We love haldi, not only is it great for your food, it's really good for your body, but also for facial products, it works as an antibacterial agent. So, add a tiny pinch of that, only about, I would say, less than an eighth of a teaspoon. Do not use too much of this stuff because it does stain yellow, so that's your warning right there. The third ingredient that you will need is full fat fresh double cream. None of the low fat stuff. A better option is for you to use milk skin. That's the thin layer that forms over the top of your milk when you've boiled it in a pan. Use about half to one teaspoon of that. It's better that you use that, but you can also use double cream as well. And this will help to hydrate the skin. Not only will it do that, there are enzymes that milk contains, which help to very gently exfoliate your skin without you even having to scrub on it so milk is amazing for the skin that is why Cleopatra used to bathe in milk that's a fun fact there for you not something we'll be trying but it's good to know the final ingredient is one teaspoon of rose water rose water is an incredible toning agent for your skin it's also very gentle it soothes the skin as well as making it feel lovely and cool and fresh so add a teaspoon of rose water and then mix up the entire ingredients really well. You'll end up with a thick paste. Now I like to scoop that paste up into my teaspoon and keep it ready for when I hop into the shower. I personally like to use it in the shower. What I do is I take the mixture off the teaspoon, rub it in between my hands and then gently massage all over my face, up to the hairline, down the neck. You don't have to do that. You can use it just on your face, over the sink. That's just what I like to do. And my routine is to do it once a fortnight and a minimum of once a month. This stuff is so effective. Your skin feels so fresh, so clean. I found that it helps to clear up any breakouts that I get much quicker and it just ties in seamlessly with the rest of my skincare routine. I really hope that you guys get on well with this. Do come back, tell me in the comments below, tell me on Facebook or Instagram or tweet me, let me know how you get on with this mixture. I absolutely love getting feedback from you guys on any of the recommendations that I dispense in my videos so definitely let me know how you get on with this if you try it. Remember to click subscribe down there if you're not subscribed to me already. Click thumbs up for more DIYs. I'm uploading twice a week every Wednesday and Saturday so I shall be catching you very soon in my next video. Take care. Toodles! Before you go why don't you check out another video of mine by clicking on one of the windows that you see on your screen right now. I hope you enjoy watching it and thanks again for watching.